coming down, 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 coming down, down, down. The glory of the Lord is coming down. When the saints begin to pray for the Lord to have his way, and the glory of the Lord is coming down. Coming down, 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 coming down, down, down. The glory of the Lord is coming down. When the saints begin to pray for the Lord to have his way, and the glory of the Lord is coming down. I've come today just to give you a few words of wisdom. And as, as again, I want to repeat, once you are born again, what is the war to enjoy your Christian life? And uh, this last month or this, I repeat the same. Uh, I say, if you are a Christian like me, you love God too much, did you ever have to question your mind? Say, if they said Jesus died for all my sins, if Jesus died for all my sins, what did I feel here? I feel I'm a sinner here. Do, what Jesus did, I did. That was almost a funga can achieve Jesus. I got a cruel of this. Of course, and didn't go to his sin. So, you. Then the Bible says, ah, Jesus died for our sin, you kill. But people are still struggle. People are struggle with the sin. What what took sometime we're preaching that Jesus died, take our sin. It's like we are cheating people. Unless you have to explain <laughs> what it means. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You work up at the root and put your foot in the sweat. Can you pass? Root up at the yeah. Just I got to feel a good soul. I'm so lucky to have this. I feel you want to. You have a problem. So to clarify that, the Bible says, "Behold, the Lamb of God." which take away the sin of the world. Jesus didn't die for yours, the last you suffering, or that spirit of lying you are suffering. Jesus died for the world. It was Jesus died, God for God, reconciled with the world again. That's why he said, Behold, the Lamb of God take away the sin of the world. So he, for God to reconcile, to accept the world again, so he can have born again children. So when you feel you want to tell a lie, you say, ah, she did and the couple and child child is a kunyeba, don't want them. I went, the Bible tells me that when you talk, talk too much, you add some lying. <laughs> Anyone who talk too much in his talking, she adds some lies, telling lies. So, what you say, say now, I'm a Christian. I'm not speaking a lie anymore. Uh, so, Jesus didn't die for telling lies. That's a small thing. All those you feel is now, ex I explained to you, um, maybe you, you're not going to hear one day, you cannot understand all. Uh, what you feel, all the lust or anger, that um, is just part of a uh, giant you need to kill. God gave the children of Israel the land, but he didn't go there to cut all the tree. But God added something. He said, I gave you the land, and he said that the honey and milk to cause them, so I'm going to go there. So 
but he didn't cut all the teeth, he didn't kill the giant. So what, they ha- what happened? When they were walking, they had to fight. When they killed this giant here, they put their house there. They fought on, that one, that one, and threw this. So that's all the feeling, the anger, and that thing. That's our giant we need to kill so we can get more blessing. That's all. It's only that for us to get more blessing, but not for, just for me to get more blessing. But it doesn't mean that uh, it's something new. You are a child of God already. You can be trodden by the devil, twist you up, and you don't cry, you don't read the Bible. Don't. You can go to heaven. You are spirit to go to heaven. But you cannot uh, enjoy the kingdom of God. You cannot share anything What the blessing of Abraham. So I'm just explaining to you the difference when you cry for you are you are suffering with the spirit of lust, you're suffering with the spirit of this, and you think it, you begin to blame uh, how many people when you are a young Christian, you, when you, the sin of flesh trouble you, you go back to the trash, to the bin, to take maybe this one. Maria, my God didn't forgive me this, maybe, maybe this one. Which God only forgave a long time. You pick this one. Because of lack of knowledge. So when you know this, uh, yes, you can go to heaven, but you have nothing to show the blessing of Abraham. You can show the blessing of Abraham when you kill some giant. When you kill some giant. When you kill some giant, then you get more blessing. So, I'm just saying because me too, I had that question when I was a young Christian. <laughs> I don't know why. So he gave me the answer. The feeling what you feel is not, uh, is not the, uh, that Jesus died. Jesus ordered forgiven all. Uh, or everything. So, uh, Jesus forgiven you all. And uh, I want, first, I want to say thank you very much for praying for me. Thank you. Thank you. Through your prayers, God gave me a new body. Thank you very much for your prayers. You see me you now sitting in the chair here? So I can spend all five hours standing. No more chair. Through your prayer. God has heard your prayer. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for your prayers. So uh, the scripture which I have to hang to you, Carl, you want to come to this? The scripture I want to hang to you so you keep it for your life. Face which I gave Mama Guti when the Lord showed me in the book of Isaiah, uh, or not the book of Proverbs, and then I told, gave her the message. So here, I give the message of Proverbs chapter uh, 6, verse 5. Then we'll, I will stay more in the book of Corinthians, Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 1. So, deliver yourself like a vessel from the hand of the, the hand and like the bed from the End of the fowler. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm here in your name. I've come, you sent me to encourage your children. Father, thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you for your presence. Take over now in your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, so, uh, when you see those uh, impala stay for a long time, uh, they, because they run away when they hear the lion is coming. So, these scriptures, I use it uh, how you, how these animals stay alive when they see the lion, when they see the, someone want to kill, how they, it said, it said, deliver yourself. So, point is that uh, this area, we are going to deliver yourself. Uh, deliver yourself. You don't, don't, you don't ask God to come to deliver you. You say what? Now, if you say, see a snake, and snake is there, do you wait to call Jesus to come to shake the neck? Mm, I want to repeat again. <laughs> if you see snake, you pray to God to come take snake? So just, just see what I'm talking in the Bible. Exactly what I'm talking about. Deliver yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Deliver yourself with those things. Deliver yourself with those things. Fight. Fight those things. Deliver yourself. This chapter which I gave my daughter, Esnat, who went to with the Lord, she was married a poor man. Then one day I called her and said, Esnat, any man from somebody you cannot make you, make you rich. Only through your hands you can be rich. Now, she, she gave me, I gave her one year. She began to work with her own hands, began to do something with her hands. And after the year, she came to me and said, Daddy, I'm finished. This verse I gave, I said, deliver yourself from poverty. Deliver yourself. The scripture said, deliver yourself. Amen. And she, after the year, she said, look at me, Daddy. I'm delivered myself. Deliver yourself. So I'm saying to the girls, deliver yourself. Deliver yourself from those spirit. Now, remember, I'm a prophet. I hear things. Did you, if you're a prophet, you know what you do? You say, you know things. When you, are, you know things. You say, how do you know it? I don't know. I just know it. <laughs> you just know it. I got my son, uh, EJ, evangelist. From when I was young, he's a prophet. He can just say, I know what you think, Daddy. <laughs> how do you know? I say, I know what you think. So he says, how do you know? I don't know. I just know it. <laughs> so when I sometimes I hear <laughs> the cry of the girls, ah, I hear a lot of cry of the girls about they want to marry. They cry. <laughs> it comes to me. I hear those things. I, yes, it comes to me. I feel it. I hear it. When the pe people cry for the girls, they want to marry. That, that. And uh, now what I heard, what I saw in the Holy Spirit, is that some, because of that spirit, some of the girls, they, they opened the door for demon to enter through that door. I saw it. You, you, are, you just look, you want to marry. You want to marry, and you marry, you want to marry, and you marry, and you lose, you lose your, you release all your feeling. You feel you want to, you think if you sleep with somebody, you'll be okay. You feel the feeling. So, I uh, hear this, some of you, you have opened the door of spiritual husband. You have opened the door because of that. Because you always want to sleep. You uh, sex is everything. So, sex is not everything. Amen. Don't try to do Sex is not everything. No. So, I've, I'm telling you what I saw. That some of you, 
you have opened the door for spiritual husband to come because of your thinking, opening. So I'm a father of the single ladies and I'm a sure girl. When you, when you think you are like me, me, when you feel your body is just giving trouble, be busy. The only two solution is to work hard. When you go back when you, to sleep, you are tired. No time to feel, to touch it down there, try to touch it down there. No more feeling. You just want to sleep. That's the only way where I find out. But if you go to bed very early, then you look this side, look at that side. It gives you trouble. So the only best way is what, what, we, what you feel. It's not a devil. It's a nature. Yeah, I want to repeat that. What you feel, you, you feel you, you, want to, uh, you want sex. It's not a devil. It's a nature. Just the nature of drinking water, nature of going to the bathroom. That's its nature. Chapter 6, verse 5, what it says, deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. It's just a nature. It's not a devil. It's a nature. It's a nature. Yes, we know that devil sometimes comes in when we, when we support flesh too much. When you support flesh too much, then devil will come and sub- make it so big. But it's in nature. It's not a devil. It's nature. God created that. It's in nature. You can stop it yourself. So Mama Guti, why don't she, what she used to say? She said, yeah, put cold water when you feel it's hot down there. Put cold water. <laughs> it will stop quickly. So you sleep well. <laughs> but if you allow that, no, I've got girls, some of them, uh, Master Bet, we call it Master Bet. What do you call it? Master Bet. It's not a, not a sin from God, it's your own sin. <laughs> it's not sin from God, but uh, all those who I had a girl work in my office, she suffered from masturbation. What's that? It kills your mind. You forgive, you forget. Always you forget, you forget, you forget, keep on forgetting, forgetting. I got another man, now he's in New York many years ago. Yeah. When you do that, you, it's just, when you do it too much, when you do it too much, it makes your brain. This girl, she, she admit why she for, forget. She go to this, I do this, she forget again. Oh, oh sorry, oh, I'm sorry, oh, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm sorry. Because she's too much. She's doing too much. So those things, you, the solution is to, to be busy. So you can go to sleep when you're tired. Can I repeat what I saw? The Holy Spirit showed me some girls, they've opened the door for spiritual husband to come to their life because of, I want to marry. I want to sleep with somebody. I want to sleep. I want a husband, to, I want a man to sleep with me. And then the shadow comes to you. Here's the problem. When you marry, we know, when you marry and you have that spirit, you suffer. You suffer. That man will sleep with you, and when your real husband comes, you don't like it because you already enjoy it with, with the shadow. So, hear me giving you the word of wisdom. Chapter 6, verse 5, deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. Now, me, knowing both sides, uh, I can help both sides. I've, after I've, I've married, I lost my marriage, it went 15 years, and they were counseling people to go to the bedroom to enjoy sex. Me, I don't have a wife for 15 years. I know the feeling. I know when I teach you girls or some of my church, I'm not thinking. I, what you feel, I've been there. Amen. So I've been there. I'm not just something I'm thinking. I've been there counseling people to go to the bed 
and me go myself, the feeling. But wife, until now, I never touched the breast of woman. I never touched a woman. Why? Self-control. Although I don't boast very much, I all give God glory. To me, my life is a miracle life. It's a miracle life. So, whilst that I'm here, so I'm qualified to teach you. I'm so mature girl for a long time, and you're feeling this. I can teach you because me too, I'm one of mature's boy. <laughs> so, uh, you cannot, any feeling you feel, I've been there. I've been there. Oh, yeah. What do you do? I was in school. Uh, in Dallas, there was a big park uh, in the park. And that park, people have sex public. And you pass at the road, you pass, you see people enjoying sex there. What do you do? You do poo, poo, ah, poo, 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 Satan, poo, poo. You say poo, poo, but the feeling is already there. It's a nature. It's a nature. But here I am. I saw them. God gave me grace. So I matured, boy, to tell you, you matured girl. So I'm not teaching. I know. I said, feeling. Sometimes, as I finish that, the Lord showed me why some of you have opened the door for this uh, husband spiritual husband, because of loose, loosing, loosing your body, loosing, 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 loose, then it's invited. It's invited spirit. Is that clear now? I need to finish that. Area. Is that clear now? Yes. Now, what do we get? Chapter 6, verse 5, deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. Don't call God. God's, God has done his job. You are already a child of God, but you, you still live in the body. Your body is not born again. Uh, is well. <laughs> Your body is just a house. It's not. The, it's the book of Romans tells us that time will come when your body will be saved. But at present, your body is, is you have to control. Peter Bed said, when he read the book of Revelation, that the Bible said God said He has thrown devil in the world. Bill the best said, how can God allow to throw certain ear to give her trouble? You read the Bible. Then later he said, he found out the, the reason. He said, God allowed the devil to come here so we can learn to fight. Kick him out in the name of Jesus. Kick him out. <laughs> One of my son, uh, every Friday, so he he goes out to hide to pray for himself. And hiding. I say, my son, you go out uh, to hide and fight. But me too, you know, then I, you know what I used, when I was younger in the Lord, I used to see if I can, uh, I think of the central because I see people in the church, I think the people, if I can stay myself, I can be holy. Then, uh, <laughs> Then I went to stay myself. You are there, devil is there. You can stay in the cave, devil will be there. We went to Highfield there. We are fasting in October. We went to Kuala Lumpur. There was a, with, with my friend. We, we went to pray. And in October, it was very hot. We prayed together. We separated. Then he was praying there. I was praying there. Then after some hour, you know, when you are praying and fasting, you, you always sleep sometimes. Then when my friend slept, he saw devil come, talk to him. Then I saw him, Puh, Satan, Puh, Satan, Puh, Satan. I said, what's wrong? He said, Satan, what's wrong, Satan? <laughs> There's no place where you can go yourself and say, devil is not there. <laughs> John Westham said, no, don't do no matter, Hakuna Satan, ego, go. Just learn to kick him out. That's all. Kick him out. Kick him. That's my, I'm giving you the word of wisdom. That's all. Chapter 6, verse 5. 
deliver your stuff. It doesn't say call God to deliver you. God has done his job. Your soul has been saved. Your soul is clean. But your house. So you have to learn that even sometime when Jesus was a Peter, he said, ah, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is like to pray. So that shows you that the body. So I have come in the name of the Lord to strengthen my children in the Lord. Now, now, now marriage is not everything. Don't put your minds in marriage. Just say, if the Lord wants now to marry, I will marry. If he doesn't like me, uh, if he doesn't open him to marry, I will worship him. But don't just, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. If you do that, you cannot save the Lord. Save the Lord completely. Marriage is something else. Yes, marriage uh, to those who are married, how many people are married here? Marriage, uh, yeah. Marriage is a wonderful thing. Why? Wonderful thing? Because, now, uh, will you hear me? I say, if I was going to m- marry another man, my life was not going to change. Because we just live as boy and boy. But God allow women, w- women think different. Men think different. Then God say, Mary, live together. How can we live? We are no fungus. We see this. And God says, Mary. No, what do I do? Marriage has worked my life. So I have to die a lot of things to fit my wife, to please my wife. And she had to fight to play, to fit me, to please, please me. So marriage is helping to shaping you. It, marriage helps you to learn this long suffering. Patience. <laughs> what about this woman like this? Ha! Then the women say, What kind of men? Like this? <laughs> this man, this man got a demon. <laughs> Your own husband, you say those things. Yes. yes. <laughs> there's, a Mrs., uh, there's a woman in Bindura, the African. She used to say, my husband, he got a dim, big demon. That's what's wrong. When he, she said, when I ask the money to buy tomatoes, people are passing, keep, keep selling tomatoes. When I go to my husband, give me money, get angry. He said, my husband is a big demon. <laughs> and when, when you see them, you say, but you both, you don't know. <laughs> That's marriage, my daughter. That's, it's going to shape you. Yeah. It's going to shape you. No marriage. People cry. <laughs> Every marriage. Oh, no, no, no. It's that time to cry. And sometimes you, you hear people say, you want to kill himself. Or she wants to kill herself because of marriage. So marriage is good. But it shapes you to unake And I want to repeat that. I said, marriage is good, so that I'm talking to the married people. Because it, marriage will change you. you. You are not going to do what you to do yourself. You have to change. So if you don't change, you lose your marriage. You destroy your own marriage. So both of us, I always say, I run the church but because I learn from my marriage. So because church and the marriage, they're the same. It's not much different. Marriage, in the church, we get some tough elders, bad people, like scolding me. I have to learn to love them. <laughs> so exactly with marriage. So, but to, if God didn't make you, I had a, an outfit here. I had a, a light, white lady, 62 years, she never married. She said, I'm a virgin. 62 years, she enjoyed it. She never married in her life. So we have, so those, if God allowed to marry, marry. If God didn't open that, just stay. We just encourage you to continue with your education, 
continue. When you, when to, and when you talk about age, we are not just to take a degree. We've got a lot of people who got a lot of degree, but nothing. It's only this church, in this church where people who got a degree and people who don't have a degree are looking the same. Only this church. People who got master and the people who got form four <laughs> look the same. It's because it's not in the paper. <laughs> It's not in the it's not in the paper, it's in the heart. So, so when we say continued education, we say fundira chin. The Chinese people, those who are not educated, what they do? They find something. Say, uh, my, me, I'm a PDQ, me, I'm a, me, I'm a massage, me, those who don't have educated, but they live. But this, yes, go to Israel. You see people selling small things. Just find this and make, uh, make it uh, something like the cross and sell it. You get money. Do something. So uh, I'm glad that the testimony I'm here, those preachers here, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful. It's really wonderful. It's really wonderful. Thank you very much. So uh, this is words of wisdom I'm sharing to you. I'm saying a lot of things. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. So, those who are not married, when you see people, married people, you, you just admire, oh, like me, when I didn't have a wife, when I saw people go to the bedroom, I said, now they're going to sex now. <laughs> that's how that's all out of my mind, I said, now they're enjoying sex. Yet, yet they are fighting. Mirai, those and I go and up in the bedroom to have to run and shower, shower. You are good. Devil can give you picture, <laughs> wrong picture. <laughs> so I've been there. When I saw they closed the door, they oh oh oh, they're, they're wonderful there. No, <laughs> they are not enjoying that. Okay, they are angry with each other. They are, they are fighting. <laughs> so never demand the thing which you don't know. Uh, never, never. I'm telling you by my experience that I've learned. I thought they are enjoying sex, yet they are quiet. I thought they, they were quarreling. So some of us, my wife, and what? I, how did I change my wife? How did she change me? We go to the bedroom. You think we are sleeping. We're talking. Until we come together, she must die this area, I must die this area, I must keep on dying, she must keep on dying, keep on dying, keep on dying. Keep on dying. Until now, when she's in the bathroom, she's singing a song, me I'm not in the bathroom, me I'm singing, I say, what do you sing? I say, I'm singing the same song. And what do you do? When she's thinking, oh, we are our job now, we, for us, my wife, us, we don't live for ourselves now. Uh, Our life is to live for others. All what we get for others. Uh, we don't need anything. We don't need money. We don't need anything. And, but God using us uh, to help others. All what we think, what can we do to do this? What can we do to help this one? What can we do this? Money comes for this one. Money comes for this one. All that's our life. We are not waiting. We, nothing, we don't need anything ourselves. Our God is everything for us. But we are working day and night for others to bless people, to bless people, to help people, to bless people. So that's why we talk. When she said, uh, I was thinking that to help, uh, like last, last week she said, I'm thinking to visit all the sick people. I said, me too. I was thinking that we need to visit sick people. So because it's that big work of God to visit some people who are sick, people who are old people in the churches. It's, very, it's a big blessing. I say, I support you. You need the money to do that. We are working together. Amen. Working together. As a party, we, we are different. We think different. We plan things different. But God say, live together. So, so you, you need to learn all these things, both sides. Oh, oh, what I'm reading here, this is um, what I call the words of wisdom I'm giving you. The words of wisdom. 
you need uh, you, all this. You okay? You this is I teach. Uh, education you get it from men. Wisdom you get from above. <laughs> education is all education you have is from men who taught you. But wisdom is not from men. It's from above. So it's very, very important to know that wisdom, you get it from heaven, from above. Education, master, be what, what? You get it from men. But wisdom is from above. So I'm spending this time to give you the words of wisdom so you can enjoy the kingdom of God. You cannot enjoy the kingdom of God when you are stupid. Devil will play with you. Devil will kick you this side, kick you, kick you all the time. All the time, <laughs> you need wisdom. You need wisdom. They told me when you, the old people closing the river, we are full of crocodile. What they do? They got a stick. They go. But if you walk, the crocodile, you, 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 crocodile takes you out. Eat. But the old people, wisdom people, they go to stick. When they feel crocodile catch their leg, they just stop it and take the stick right there. <laughs> you finish. You got that. That's wisdom. Wisdom. But if you cross the river without wisdom, you, the crocodile will eat you. So I'm spending all this time to teach you the words of wisdom. I can preach you Jesus here. I can deliver. You can fall down like several times, but you walk up and throw the same. <laughs> so Mama, good many years old, she, she used to like a demon uh, and um, deliver. She, uh, what she, I can go down, I know, I know, I know. Even in the road, we are not delivered. You don't deliver people who don't like Jesus. <laughs> you deliver only people who like to be delivered. <coughs> Thinking that she used to think deliverance is, can do anything. Now deliverance is nothing. Because you can be delivered today, tomorrow come back again. You need to have deliverance when you know. You need deliverance and you don't open that door, that spirit to come again. But if you, don't, if you don't know how to separate that, this is a flesh this is devil. If you don't know those, you can. Oh, I know that. Did you ever? Uh, me, I've done that. Pray, it's a devil. I thought it was devil. It was flesh. Then I fight. I kick devil, devil, devil. It was nature. <laughs> it was just nature. It was because I didn't like it. <laughs> so I'm finding this way. It's Give you ways of wisdom. You will never be the same from today. You are not going to pray, go to the Bindura to pray to look for husband. Go to Bindura, to Tanya, looking for husband. Stop it. <laughs> Save the Lord. Do some outstanding in the church. That's what you need to do. Do something, do something. Be number one for this. Be expert. Something. People talk about you. Just when God, if God wants you to, how do you know? You don't know your life. The one who created you, he knows everything. Then I said to this girl, do you go to the Bindra? You think God has forgotten that he created the woman? He still knows that. So don't just wait. Do something. You just save the Lord completely. Save the Lord. Why this woman, this Yuna girl here, how did she uh, marry me? It was because she was only an outstanding girl. My marriage was not for one person. It was through committee. Dare guru. So because I was already passed, I've got eight churches and they 
So those women who are running the church, they were afraid that I'm going to marry wrong people. <laughs> so it was through the committee. And the committee said, we want someone. And this is my point. When someone said, the, the committee said, we have another uh, school teacher there. Another one said, they ask me, what do you think? I said, need someone who's doing something for God by herself. Not to do it because she's waiting for me. And she was only the girl in that church. She was only the girl. She was outstanding in everything. Outstanding winning soul. Outstanding leading choir. Outstanding a lot of things. That's why the church, the leaders, agree to accept her and to send old women in the church to go to more minister to talk to her. But after they have talked, they said, find someone who's doing something for God, for herself. Not someone who's going to do when you marry. Oh, no. She's going to pull you down. You need someone who's always serving the Lord. That's why she's your mother today. She was an outstanding girl. She was an outstanding girl. And one time she was kicked out from Harari Hospital by preaching people. <laughs> so preaching people, preaching people. And all the nurses were very angry with her because she was saying, Mambembe, uh, you know, Mambembe. She just throw the pamphlet in the room called Mambembe in their rooms. And she was in trouble. So she got big. She was an outstanding girl. Amen. Then the church said, this is a woman, we need, this is a mother. That's why she's your mother. She was outstanding, doing something. You too, be outstanding. Any area, don't, you know, we are all different. You, we are all different. You, you do this, you do this, we are all different. Now I was talking to someone, so we were talking about the politician. When we were in high field, the war was in Machipisa. Tear gas, there, fight war. And a uh, lot of people, a lot of people who went to the bush from my 593, they were going, Baba, I'm going to die for our country. They, they, they go. They, some of them, they never come back. Only one who came back, that's his name, Tanyanyua, uh, Mishak Tanyanyua, only back, came back alive. But all those who went to die. But uh, we were in a war fighting for delivering our soul. Then someone said, Baba, uh, good, why not go out? Let go. I said, I read the scripture here. It says, they prayed, the children of Israel, they prayed, and God put a fear in the enemy, and the enemy ran away. So is that what I'm doing here? I pray the, the enemy feel smooth, the cashier, uh, jacket, so that just lift. They, ah, he put it. They ran away through prayer. So we were in the war. Some got a gun, some got Bible and fight. And we got independent. That we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the, the comfort which we ourselves are being comforted by God. Thank you. Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3. Second Corinthians. So, it's not good to preach the thing we never tasted before. I've come here to comfort you with the words God comforted me. You have heard me. I'm said, you have heard several times, I'm real happiest man in the world. I'm very happy. How can you be happy when you have a lot of things, troubles you, surround you, war everywhere. Uh, some people, they've got a spirit of fear. I hear some, when they read in the newspaper about Zegu, some people are trembling. Maybe university is going to close. Forget about that. <laughs> just, just, I said, how can you feel no, 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 no. You ask us. See me. When I'm, when I'm not afraid as your father, then you join me. Why you are trembling? Huh? 
Some people say, ah, you're wasting your time. Oh, our churches, oh, you don't know. This building you see here, it was a war. The faith people, the city council, they say, they are, you are not, you, you don't have paper. And we are trying to look at the paper for this building. We couldn't find it, or this area. And just devil hide the papers. And later on they came and said, no, the soil here is bad. You are not allowed to build here. But look who are here. <laughs> to tell you, we never get things easy. All our things had to get by fighting. So, never think, never think. Ah, oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, maybe the universe is going to close. By who? Who? That is very good from God. Very good from God. So, my children, don't be excited or be afraid when you read the newspaper. No, 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 no. The newspaper, anybody can write a newspaper, put a fear. Anybody, well, newspaper, anybody, you can write when you're in your bed. Write it, send it to, to there. They, 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 they every tremble. Uh. Yet you wrote it when you are sleeping in your bed. Uh. So, my children, when you read the newspaper, don't take it serious. No, no, no. You have to ask some of your leadership. Ask what they, what they think about that. Now, newspaper is a newspaper. The, what, what the medicine of the newspaper? When they say, read, you read big things, what, the, uh, what to do? The answer is keep quiet. You read big things, it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Oh, what, what is the answer? Keep quiet. And it died itself. And next week you forget that there was something out there. So, my children, we are here. We have to be strong. We never get things easy. Here, we see this building. It was a big wall. They will say, you're gonna, we cannot build this place. The soil is bad. You cannot do this. You cannot do this. You cannot do this. But we're still on standing in the world. And when we are building the city council, white people, they will come. They will say, who? They were looking for the boss. They passed me looking for the boss who was uh, going this <laughs> building. Because that's what you see this, this, uh, this kind of uh, stage you're sitting. They never thought that a white black man can do this while you're sitting there. So, theater, wait. So, in this church, we don't get things easy. We got to fight in the name of Jesus. Everything, all the blessing we have, we have to fight. We don't surrender. John, fear is a terrible thing. Fear is a terrible thing. We are not afraid. We are Christians. We are ready to die for good things. You hear me? We are not here. At this one, we are here to do the work of God. So, my children, never, when you read the newspaper, never travel. Be strong. Just as I said, if you, if you depend by people, people by just good news only, then you are wrong. Paul, read what Paul says. Good news and bad news. And move. Good news, bad news. Move on. Good news, bad, bad news. Move on. So, so. Jesus said, if only good news, that you are Pharisees. If you are only Pharisees. But if you are real for God, you have both sides. Read the book of Corinthians. You both sides. Bad things here, good things there. But move on. And without... Uh, some of you don't know, without uh, attacking, we don't grow. We grow by God. When the devil attacks us, then we, how many times time you have fast when you didn't want to fast? God, 
so. Otherwise, we can just eat and eat. But when he attack comes to us, we fight, we grow, we fight and grow. So, chapter 6, verse 5. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. Deliver yourself. So, now here I say, I, think, I believe you had a wonderful time when you say this evangelist, a good younger here, and all those things. That I think, believe you had a wonderful time. I've come to give you the last word say, deliver yourself. Go. It's not the devil, it's the nature. I want to repeat that. What you feel in your body is not the devil, it's the nature. Same nature. So is the nature. So don't open the door for the devil to come because you think it's the devil. It's the nature, it's the body. It's a house in you. So hear my children. I am saying to you, in the name of the Lord, walk, trust God, and God will bless you. Amen and amen. amen. I wish I had time to uh, ask you, if you have some questions, but now I need to stop here. So, that's, that's my sharing today. We are you cannot comfort someone if God never comforts you in the trouble. I'm coming here because God has comforted me in a lot of trouble. So my children, hear me. I'm comforting you with the words, with the same which God comforts me. So my children, uh, that's matter. You, the husband is not there. Jesus didn't die for you to have a husband. Ah, you were. Ah. Yeah. I want to repeat that. Jesus didn't die for you to have a husband. He died for your sin. That's all. So, uh, the other thing you don't know, you don't know that inside of you are a man. Only the house is a woman. You didn't know that. You thought, you thought your spirit is a woman too. God never created different spirits for women, spirit, another spirit for men. We are all persons, all of us. But God has different body for the cause of so we can have children. But God created a man. Are <laughs> you hearing me? God created a man. He never created a woman. God created a man and gave you a different body so you can have children. So your spirit and my spirit are not different. I want you to say, mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you, know, you are taking your spirit <laughs> to make a woman. <laughs> that's a house. See, that's called a woman is a body. But you yourself with me is not different. Yes, our spirit is the same. So when you know this, you are better off. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. So we serve a wonderful God. Amen. I said I've come to encourage you, to comfort you. When you feel the body, I've been there, me too. I've been six, 15 years. And I want to marry. Especially when my daughter said, Wakambo, when you have tasted marriage and lose marriage, and to serve to control yourself. It's not easy. But here I am. God help me. I never touch in this dress of war. I never touch but of a woman. Here I am. Ah, I'm a good father. So, don't you worry about marriage. Worry how to say, worry, worry about serving God. That. So, oh, my children. I don't need to add some more. If you have got ears to hear, you've got it. So, I repeat again before I go, say thank you again for your prayers. Thank you for the words of encouraging one another. I need your prayers. I need your prayers. To pray for, the, if you live holy, if you're a single girl and you Live your prayers. 
Very easy, it's powerful. So there was a time when I was dying because of overwork in Mtari. One day they, they choose all the old women who never, uh, who, those who are not sleeping with the men to surround me. And I was dying, I woke up again, so I'm strong. They choose. So if you are a, a girl, you are virgin, you are, control your body, you have a right to pray for me. God will answer you. Very easy. Very easy for God to hear your prayer when you are like that. No, this time before I, I go, I want you to stand up. I want to speak the words of blessing in your life. Repeat again. Be not afraid. Do not be afraid. If you are, okay, if you are working talent or you are doing anything, don't be afraid. Be strong. Don't try to compare yourself with the others. Learn from others, but you are different. Do what you can do in your area. People can, uh, we have tried that. People cannot uh, make you talk by their words. Say, ah, no fa no by you. Well, they can talk words. To, you cannot grow because of their words. Do as you are. You have different name. Stay there and work. As, because your blessing is not from other people. If your blessing is from God. So stay there. Now raise your hands as I pray. Mari Baba, Mr. Jesu. Do not have a blessing. Any other way to go now. Mwa kumbere pamu kushanda kwao, mwa nunure pamu ya yoruzi, mwa nunure pamu ya kashata. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will speak blessing to your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I stretch my hands in the name of the Lord. I speak blessing in your life. Receive the blessing from the Lord. Receive the blessing from the Lord in your spirit, in your mind. In your soul, receive the blessing. Receive the blessing. Uh, I see some. Get a, don't allow bad things, so, bad thought. Refuse. Have clean, keep on feeding your mind with a clean mind. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. According to your faith, receive the blessing of the Lord. Receive the blessing from the Lord. Receive the blessing from in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Receive the blessings. Receive the blessing from the Lord. In the name of the Father and the Son and Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen.